Hey guys, welcome to part two of my truck bed camper build. If you haven't seen part one of the truck bed camper build, I built like some side storage and just put like some foam uh, mats on the floor to go under the actual like foam sleeping pads. I'll show you kind of what we did. And you can see the full build of these side boxes in the part one video. And then obviously I just took this like puzzle piece floor and put it on the bottom here to go under the foam pads for where we sleep. Here in part two, I'm gonna be making little window covers. I have this Reflectix to use to make window covers and that'll hopefully also help like keep some heat in. I got these side pieces cut and now I'm gonna use the these Velcro strips to attach them to the windows. So I'm probably gonna cut like little sections and stick them onto the aluminum like side rail here in a couple different places. And I guess if you're wondering like why I didn't just um, cut like a slightly bigger piece of Reflectix and attach Velcro to it and like Velcro straight to the carpet. When you stick Velcro to the carpet and then like pull it away, it like pulls like a lot of the carpet out. And I don't wanna mess this up because these are gonna be, you know, taken in and out all the time. Okay, so we got one side on. Once we had the window covers on all four windows, I'm also gonna try to attach this light it's magnetic you can see here so i thought that'd be kind of cool because then i could also use it like outside the truck if i wanted uh, the light came with these little magnetic l brackets so i'm going to take velcro stick it to the back side of these and then stick that up to the carpet so i got the light attached it's good where it is but I think if we were driving on a bumpy road or something, it could possibly fall off just because the Velcro to the carpeting isn't like the strongest thing in the world. So I might have to come up with a different solution for that. It's been a couple weeks since the last time I've worked on the, the truck camper build. And when I put up the window covers in here, and I think I'm going to go a different way with the window covers because they, they seem to work, but I don't know, I don't really, like it that much the velcro some of the glue like seeped through the velcro and glued the velcro together so when i went to like take one of the window covers off here i'll show you it like just pulled this like metallic outer coating off of the hair and velcro just stayed stuck up there so i don't, I don't want to have to like worry about that all the time and also these seem like they're going to be a little harder to store so i might just try to come up with something different for the windows because i just want it to be simple and easy and easy to take down take out of here if you remember last time i had attached that light that i bought in here using velcro and those magnetic strips and also i didn't really like how that turned out either so i ordered some new lights off of amazon that i think are going to work much better it's like a roll of LEDs on this strip with adhesive on the back. I'm gonna run it along the top here and then down this part near the back so maybe it provides some light on the tailgate. I'm gonna do that on both sides because I bought two packs of them. And uh, these, just like the other light, have like an on off and I can dim them or make them brighter and they're USB powered so I'll plug them in too. You know, a little battery bank or something. This should be a quick thing to install on here. Got it on in place. Not the most even job, but... Just use the adhesive on the back of the little lights. And then just start it right there at the edge. Have my cord coming down. So I just plug my USB in, hit the on button here, um, and you know during the daytime you can just see it all lit up. I'm thinking that'll probably just um, get like an extended USB cable that I can then just run up because there's a little track behind here that you can see these. Uh, you might not be able to see. But there's these wires in here. I could run like a. I could just kind of put this up in the track hook another USB cable to it, and then run that cable across the top here and down here. 
so then they can both plug in on the same side over here. It's been a couple days because I had to order this USB extension cord. It was like five bucks on Amazon. Right now I'm just using both power banks for the time being so we can see in here. And now I'm gonna take this cable here and run it up along this track across the top. That was pretty quick and painless. You can see I ran that cord under those clips as far as those went. And then once I got past the clips, I just added electrical tape every couple inches. And then down the side here. And I wish this cord was a little bit longer. I got a six and a half foot cord. Um, so I thought that would be totally fine. I might want it to be a little bit longer, but I'll probably have my battery bank sitting somewhere right here in my final configuration. So it's easy to, you know, plug things in. If I do end up getting like a, a bigger battery bank, like one of those Goal Zero or Jackery power generators, it would be good to have it right here, which this cord will reach to if it's right down here. The reason why it'll be nice to have here too is then I can either use this plug back here to charge it while we're driving or if i want to be able to grab it take it out of the truck to charge it in the cab or to charge it in the house or something i would be able to do that pretty easily as well i just closed the back of the truck up and turned off the light in the garage so we could really see how well these lights light up the bed at night and both these lights together light up this bed like amazingly it's super bright in here you can see on camera if I turn one side off, not nearly as bright on camera, but I can still see everything in here just fine. I think it'll also light up the tailgate pretty well. The tailgate's pretty well lit up, so I don't even have to have like an extra light out here at night. If I'm cooking on the tailgate or something, I can see just fine. I took all the Reflectix window covers out, as you can see. I'm gonna come up with a solution for window covers eventually, but I'm just not super pressed to do it right now. I wanna keep this as minimal as I can and having to store things in different places just like didn't seem like that was gonna be very minimal to me. It, was, it wasn't gonna be easy. The reason I wanna build this out is so it's super easy to get out and camp and it's super easy to, you know, pack up camp and get back in the truck and drive to the next place in the morning. Like I don't wanna to have to deal with putting things away in certain spots and doing all that. So that's why I wanted to keep this really minimal. Whenever we're gonna camp in here for the time being, we're gonna bring sleeping bags and we're probably gonna have blankets and stuff as well. So I don't think we're gonna to have to worry too much about being cold. And I also don't know how much insulating the windows even will change that just because, I mean, this is a fiberglass top and it's in a truck bed where there are cracks and, you know, it's a metal truck bed. So <laughs> it probably doesn't hold in a ton of heat anyways. I'm probably going to try to come out here tomorrow and maybe add a couple more things and put in all the gear and the bed and stuff that I'd use for camping because I'm planning to go on a camping trip this weekend and use this setup and kind of test it out. I think just this nice minimal setup is going to work well. One of my favorite ways to camp is to backpack just because you like have just what you need and nothing more and it makes for such a enjoyable experience because you don't have to worry about just all this different gear and all this different stuff. So that's what I kind of wanted to do with the truck is make it just what we need to be able to pull up somewhere, camp really easily, cook food, and be able to just leave from camp really quick. That was my goal with this. And I think just this minimal setup is gonna work well for that. But tomorrow when it's light out again, I'll put everything in here and kind of show you what it'll look like. I'm gonna get all this gear kind of put away and organized in the back of the truck. So you guys can kind of see how it's gonna look set up for a camping trip. Also, I came up with a relatively simple solution, at least for me, so I don't have to use two separate battery banks to plug in both sides of the lights. Um, I have a lot of these DeWalt batteries for my power tools. I saw online that they have this adapter that plugs into the batteries with two USB ports. And yeah, you know, this is like one of the bigger batteries I have, six amp hour battery. So I think one of these batteries will power these lights for an insane amount of time. That's the solution I came up with for powering the lights for now. Here we go, got everything in here. It took maybe 10 minutes or so to put all this stuff in here. Right now I have my like, dry foods box, my box with like pots and pans and other like cookware stuff. 
Then I have a box with some electronics and stuff in it, like other GoPro mounts and stuff like that. And then this bin just has like some cleaning gear, like trash bags, paper towels, hand sanitizer, stuff like that. This is like a sleeping pad that I have for backpacking. And I think I'm gonna try to just put this up vertically inside here when I close the tailgate to kind of block off some of the gaps in the edges of the tailgate while we're sleeping. Maybe that'll help insulate a little bit. This is just a camp chair. So stuff like that will probably be back here sitting on the bed when we're driving. Um, and then that's a blanket for my dog. And then my sleeping bag, it's probably a 20 degree sleeping bag. We'll probably try to get like actual blankets or something for in here when there's two of us sleeping in here. But for right now, I'm just gonna sleep with a sleeping bag. Oh, I also forgot, have my little camp stove back there. I'm probably gonna try to figure out a better way to store that, you know, closer to the front here. So it's easier to access, but for right now, that's where I have it. And then back in that other little cubby, I just have um, another little blanket like that. And then a Nalgene bottle that I use as a pee bottle. And then just a little bag with some extra clothes and stuff. Obviously I'm gonna keep kind of just refining this as I camp, but I wanted to get out and camp with the setup for what I've set up so far first and I think this is gonna work well. So this is gonna kinda finish up part two of the truck camper build. If you like this video and wanna see more as I progress through building this out as I use it, uh, then subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on the video if you have any other ideas of things I should do to this build. Thanks for watching, guys.